my general reaction is is I can feel the hurt that people are going through. I'm a retailer myself, as you know, and it's, we've had a very tough couple of years with COVID, with Brexit, all the uncertainty now coming towards us with the, the cost of living crisis. I perfectly understand what the issue is. So I can understand exactly what the hurt is. But understanding what the hurt is doesn't address some of the issues that they are facing. Let's, I mean, first of all, let's just say that bid, when it was voted in, I think 65% of people voted, um, but out of uh, 1,175, only 292 votes were cast. And, and some of those businesses say that there's business aren't even affected by bid. So why should they uh, be part of it? I mean, what do you say to that? I, I say that everyone, including uh, individuals who are not in the bid area, will be affected by how the bid works. Every single person who visits our town centre will be affected by the bid. If the bid works properly, everyone will gain the benefit. If it doesn't work properly, everyone will be affected. Why are some people not understanding the benefits? I mean, they talked about uh, communication issues. Some of them didn't really understand what it was about. I mean, this this has been going on since, let's say, 2018, hasn't it? But why has that not been communicated? I mean, some say that uh, it originally started with Main Street and then, uh, you know, the boundaries were ex expanded and it was never made clear to them. Well, I can't, I can't really... Um, explain why people didn't get the message but you who work in the media know how often the bid and the whole project has been represented in the media not only on GBC but in every single media format and not only that that in support of the bid both trading bodies have emailed on repeated occasions every single one of their members now I understand what's happening because I'm a retailer myself and I'm busy what tends to happen with most of us, we're bombarded by information these days and anything that is not of primary concern or urgent, we tend to leave behind. That's a reality. And the only reason that we're having this discussion today on GBC in prime live, uh, live radio is purely because it has become an urgent issue. It's exactly that. And I welcome it. I welcome all these people protesting because at least they can, they're now going to understand what the bid can do for them and for everyone else in Gibraltar. This has a benefit for the whole of Gibraltar. As long as we work together, we collaborate and we put all our immense energies and talents that we do have in Gibraltar to the good use. Um we are going to talk about some of those benefits um, in a moment, but I do want to still ask you a couple of questions. Uh, you know, when we first started talking about bid in Gibraltar was around 2018. But of course, we've had COVID since then. We've got a cost of living crisis, perhaps not so much in Jib as in the UK, but the cost of living is going up. Do you think, it, you know, times are different now. Uh, traders have been hit very hard in Main Street. And it's quite acceptable possibly that some of these people just cannot afford to pay the bills that they've received. I mean, is it time to revisit perhaps the original plan? I can only tell you, Ros, that if we're talking about costs, I'm going to tell you from my own personal experience how much I am paying. And the amount I am paying, and I don't think I'm any different to most other levy payers and remember we're not talking just about retailers we're talking about officers we're talking about workshops we're talking about hairdressers we're talking about all the businesses that lie in the bid area the amount i am paying is equivalent to two days rent two days rent that's how much i'm paying for my bid levy and every single one of the levy payers is paying a proportional amount so we're not talking about a massive expense on the other hand when we do enter into this bid mechanism what do we get we get cooperation we get funding a lot of what your objectors haven't mentioned is that parts of the negotiations in the bid was that we have got government to agree to match our funding so every single penny that every one of the levy uh, payers pays, the government is going to match. Now, can I just take this into a historical context? Yes, please do. Right. 
20, approximately 25 years ago, Peter Caruana was voted into office. At the time, there was a project for refurbishing the main street. And he decided that the government should pay that. I applauded that decision. Why? Because I believed that Main Street and the town centre was for the benefit of the whole of Gibraltar, not just for the people who were on Main Street. In 25 years, there has been practically no substantial investment into the infrastructure of Main Street. Nothing. Now, for all your listeners, please dial the clock back 25 years and see what's happened in the last 25 years. Firstly, we've got the internet. Then we've got a proliferation of shopping centers, high street chains. There has been no investment in our town center. Now, I understand all the objections. I suffer from them myself. I am a board member, as you know, and I still hate receiving the bill. Can I but, ask you a question? But, but, and this is, this is the, 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 the crux of the matter. If we object and object and object, what are we going to achieve? Where is the benefit for our society? Where is the benefit for our businesses? You have done countless interviews, yourself and other members of your GBC team. Whenever there's a problem with the economy, the GBC runs down to the town centre and interviews retailers. And they always say the same. Things are bad. And they are bad. But are we just going to sit here and sit on our hands and just complain things are bad when we've got a golden opportunity to actually do something together to make things better? Just before we go, can you please highlight some of those um, opportunities available through the bid project for those who are sitting there wondering wh who's, which camp should they sit but on? It's very simple. We're going to make the town centre cleaner and more attractive. We're going to create more entertainment on the high street to drive traffic into the, into, into the town centre. And sorry, let me clarify that. The bid is for the town centre and not for Main Street. A crucial element of what we want to do is to drive traffic throughout our town centre. So entertainment won't just be on Main Street. It'd be in Cornwall's Parade. It might be in the Piazzella. It might be at the top of Main Street. And what that's going to do is take people into places that they haven't been to for ages. So many of my regular customers tell me that they hardly ever come into town. They've got no incentive to. Raju, just very quickly, how will dentists, insurance companies and other businesses as such benefit from this bid? Can, can I just ask you, yeah. right? If we have a beautiful town centre and there's a potential investor who lives abroad, who's coming to Gibraltar, consuming Gibraltar amongst other locations, to, to come and invest in, in property, in, in, in a business. And they come through a town centre that's lovely on their way to see their estate agent. What kind of impressions are they going to give to that investor? That investor, if he buys a property, is going to give money to the estate agent, to the lawyer, to the, the, the plumber, to the, the guy who sells the kitchen furniture, to the guy who sells washing machines. All those guys are going to get a benefit just because a town centre is a lot better.